The spring meal will include rice tofu and vegetable medley and spinach dressing. I'll start by centering myself. At first I will light a candle to help calm the me and the environment, so something good that you can do. Beautiful lotus candle. So centered in myself, <clears throat> withdrawing from outer involvement into my inner haven of peace, not allowing the busyness of life to overwhelm me. I'll try to cook this meal with peace and love so the food I'll make will nourish and bless me. I will start by making the rice tofu vegetable medley which will serve about four people. And this is a recipe that I came up with some years ago when I was very busy and I didn't have much time to spend in the kitchen and cook. I was looking for a quick way to make a healthy meal. So this is a very quick meal in one pot, the rice cooker. I will start with preparing the tofu, which you can do ahead of time. I will marinate that. So we use it about 12 to 16 ounces. This is firm. Um, this is actually extra firm tofu, but you can use extra firm or a firm tofu. And I will cut it to small cubes, about one fourth of an inch. So here it is, and I will cut this. See, when it's firm, it's very easy to slice through it. So here are the and this will go nicely with the with the rice. So see how small it is? So as I said, you can do this if you plan ahead, you can do this like in the morning before you leave to work. And I will put this in the, I'm going to just put it in a glass pan to marinate that. So here's the other one. This is good, and slicing it. Nice source of protein. And having it with the rice makes the meal a little bit more substantial. So here it is. You get it closer to me, it will be easier. to cut this then cut all the way all right so here it is and spread them so now what I will do is make a little marinade to go with the tofu so in a small bowl I will add a quarter cup of brag And here I have two teaspoons of dried basil, which goes nicely with the tofu. And this is about a quarter cup of sesame oil. So mix this. And I'm just going to pour it on the tofu. Move this for a moment here. Here we go. Move this here. This can stay here. So I'll just do it with my hand. You can see marinating the tofu. You can also use even a wider surface if you have a bigger glass pan to spread the tofu or 
you can kind of turn it around if you can. All right, so leave this like that and I'm just going to cover it and let it sit. You can, as I said, you can do it in the morning, let it sit, put it in the fridge, then you have to put saran wrap on top. Or for now, we'll leave it. We can leave it for about an hour and then you can mix the vegetables with the rice and tofu. All of it goes into the rice cooker. So while the tofu pieces are being marinated, I will cut the vegetables and you can use variety of vegetables. Today I'm going to use two stalks of celery and one carrot and uh, we have a little bit here of uh, one cup, but one cup of fresh green beans. So let me cut the vegetables. Since we're using the rice cooker, I will cut the vegetables, you know, not too big because this is one pot. Maybe this will be an easier way. It's more stable. So whatever you have, or maybe if you plan ahead, you'll have the vegetables that you would want to use in the rice cooker. Put this here. And again, you can prep also the vegetable ahead of time. So when you get home, you have it all and you put it all in the rice cooker. You already marinated the tofu. And then you take a shower, maybe meditate, exercise, and you come out and you have the meal ready. You have all the wonderful smells in the kitchen. Cut this. This is from Ananda Farm, Ananda Garden. It's an organic, it's a little fat carrot, but healthy carrot. Cut it here. Half. And cut it into quarters. Thin quarter. You want different textures of cutting the vegetable in your dish. Go. One more. very healthy carrot okay so here is our mixture of the celery and carrot and again this is a very forgiving recipe here are green beans and I will first cut the ends one batch and then the other again don't have much time so you bunch them all up together there you go but you start stay calm in the midst of it we are I'm just gonna um, cut them mm, an inch or two again not too big pieces add them to your vegetables and get the other bat and 
And this is our vegetables that goes into the rice cooker. So now we are ready to cook. Let me move a few things here. Um, put this here, this crate. All right. And then we'll just have the things together and we're ready to put it in the rice cooker. So now we're ready to make the meal. We have here the tofu been marinated for about an hour. You now it's absorbing the juice. And in the rice cooker, the magic invention, I will take the inner pot. I'm just going to lubricate the bottom because I know my my rice cooker and you can just stick to it if I don't put some oil at the bottom. And then I will put the one cup white basmati rice that I have rinsed. And you can use also quinoa or rice mixed with quinoa. Put that here. And if you're using brown rice this is a different story and a different amount of water it takes a little bit longer to um, to cook here is our tofu cube cubes and the marinade will add a wonderful flavor to this whole dish all right so here it's all in there move this here So now we'll add to it, this is two and a half cups of fresh water. And again, depending on your rice cooker, it might need to be a little bit more or a little bit less. So I'm mixing this. And now I'm adding the vegetables. I mix them all ready together. Mix it all and you know what, this is it, put this in here, move a little bit this way, you can, I can get to the rice cooker, cover it, plug it in and turn it on. So. This is all we need to do, and now you are free. When it's done, I'll just fluff it with a fork and I will serve it. Just a thought for you. Sometimes you don't even have the time to do what I've done now. And I have been there at times that I didn't have even the time to chop the vegetable and to marinate the tofu. So once it happened to me and what I did, I still wanted to have a healthy meal. I just mixed the rice and quinoa, cooked them in the rice cooker, and then I took the steamer basket that goes right on top of the rice cooker and put whole leaves of Napa cabbage with whole piece of broccoli. And while the rice was cooking, it steamed the vegetables and it was great and then when it was done I just um, drizzled some olive oil and brag it took me less than five minutes to prepare the meal and the meal was delicious so this is it you can just do that but if you have time or you can do it ahead I want to show you a wonderful spinach sauce that you can that goes very nicely along with the this tofu rice vegetable dish so now the um, rice tofu vegetables is cooking in the rice cooker and meanwhile as i said this is optional i want to share with you a wonderful spinach dressing that i um, came up with and i really think it's very tasty and it blends very well 
with the rice. So I'm going to use part of it. It's two cups of baby spinach. And because we use the blender, you would think, why would you need to chop it? But because I've tried it, if you just put raw, the spinach is going to um, clog the little blender that I have. Maybe if you have Vitamixer, you don't need to do that. So I'm just like lightly, don't have to mince it, but it will be easier on my blender. The rest already small so not much needed it's a very quick dressing to make that is all so we'll put here in the blender quarter cup of olive oil to the last drop using the spatula to help me Okay, and then we will add to that one tablespoon of lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. And we will add two tablespoons of water, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. If you like fresh garlic, it's just strong flavor. I prefer to use the powder, but you can use fresh too. Half teaspoon of salt and about quarter teaspoon of black pepper. So to that we will add the baby spinach leaves chopped. Now we blend it until it's smooth. This lovely spring bowl in the shape of a flower that I will pour. Let's see if this is done. Pour in a lovely spinach dressing to go with the rice. And I can hear the rice cooker. And that's all. Now we're ready to serve the meal. So this is our simple meal for busy people. We have the rice, tofu, and vegetables in the rice cooker. And then we made also the spinach dressing. And you know, everyone is super busy these days. But being short of time doesn't mean you have to compromise and eat unhealthy foods. With a little bit of planning and creativity, you can quickly prepare healthy foods that will nourish you during those busy times when your body most needs it. So enjoy the meal.